What's up everyone, welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about best upcoming movies. Will Smith is back on the beat with a pulse-pounding update on the much-anticipated sequel, Bad Boys 4. The charismatic actor, set to reprise his role as Detective Lieutenant Michael Eugene Mike Lowry alongside the incomparable Martin Lawrence, took to social media to give fans a sneak peek into the Miami mayhem. In a video that screams Miami vibes, Smith exclaims in the caption, Damn, I love this city! Bad Boys 4 is coming fast, y'all! Sending fans into a frenzy. The visual treat is accompanied by the revelation that filming is racing towards the finish line with only eight days left. The countdown has begun, and the adrenaline is palpable. The fourth installment of the Bad Boys saga, directed once again by the dynamic duo Adil El Arbi and Bilal Falah, promises to build on the success of its predecessor, Bad Boys for Life, which took the box office by storm in 2020. While the details of the plot remain shrouded in secrecy, LRB hints at a subtle shift in tone, with Bad Boys 4 veering a bit more into the comedic. Joining the stellar cast alongside Smith and Lawrence are Paula Nunez, Vanessa Hudgens, Alexander Ludwig, Tasha Smith, DJ Khaled, Rhea Seahorn, and the recent additions, Lone Griffin and Eric Dane as the main villain, Banker. The action-packed extravaganza is slated to hit theaters in the United States on June 14, 2024, promising a summer spectacle that will have fans on the edge of their seats. Get ready for explosive chemistry, high-octane action, and the return of the Bad Boys duo as they take on a new chapter in their relentless pursuit of justice. Get ready for a spooky delight, horror fans, as Jenna Ortega spills the ghastly beans about her role in the highly anticipated horror comedy sequel, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. In an eerie chat with Vanity Fair, Ortega confirmed that she's set to play the daughter of the iconic Lydia Dietz, portrayed by Winona Ryder in the original. Fasten your seatbelts for the emergence of Astrid, a character Ortega tantalizingly describes as weird but in a different way. While the details of the sequel are shrouded in mystery, Ortega drops breadcrumbs about the plot, saying, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say, but I am Lydia Dietz's daughter, so I'll give that away. She's weird, but in a different way, and not in the way you'd assume, I would say. The relationship between Lydia and Astrid, my character, is very important, and it's also really strange, because it's a lot of catching up and putting the pieces together of what's gone on in Lydia's life since, which is nice, I think, for anybody who loves the character and is excited to see her again. In a spine-tingling revelation on the red carpet at the Emmy Awards, Ortega described the experience as so exciting and hints at the use of practical effects and sets. Forget CGI, this sequel is embracing the tangible and the terrifying. As the cinematic cauldron bubbles with excitement, mark your calendars for September 6, 2024 when Warner Brothers Pictures unleashes Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Prepare for a haunted family reunion, practical effects that will send shivers down your spine, and an ensemble cast that promises a ghastly good time. A while back, the internet was set ablaze with the release of the first teaser trailer for the much-anticipated Deadpool 3. But hold on to your chimichangas, because we've got some fresh updates. The British Board of Film Classification just dropped some juicy details, ratings and runtimes for the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine movie trailers. It's like Christmas for movie buffs. In the teaser, the Time Variance Authority recruits Deadpool for a mission to save the Marvel Universe. Cassandra Nova, the potential villain in Deadpool and Wolverine, also made a cameo, adding a dash of intrigue. And guess who decided to crash the party? None other than Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, stealing the spotlight in the Deadpool 3 cast. Now for the nitty gritty, the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer scored a 12A rating. What's that you ask? Well, it means it's a family affair. Kids aged 12 and up can join the cinematic escapade with an adult chaperone. Responsible movie watching, folks. But here's the real kicker grand finale trailer will clock in at 1 minute and 34 seconds. Brace yourselves for an R rated extravaganza that promises to be as wild as the initial Deadpool 3 teaser. Deadpool 3, officially dubbed Deadpool and Wolverine, is the Marvel fanbase's dream come true. With a cast of awesome characters, mind bending Easter eggs, and the potential to shake up the entire MCU, it's the blockbuster event of 2024. Circle July 26th on your calendar because that's when the cinematic roller coaster kicks off. Until then, stay glued to your seats for more thrilling updates.
Hold on tight, horror aficionados, because Frank Grillo is dropping some spine-chilling updates about The Purge 6 that are bound to send shivers down your spine. In a heart-pounding interview on the Lights Out red carpet with Screen Rant, Grillo, the charismatic face of The Purge franchise, told the world that the script for the sixth installment was officially done. He also revealed that the final chapter would be directed by none other than the franchise's visionary creator, James DeMonaco. He tantalizingly shared, The script is done. It basically centers around Leo Barnes, my character. It would be the last of the last of the last. It's like the guy who keeps retiring. James DeMonaco is going to direct it, if it happens, and it's a matter of money. It's a matter of how big they want the movie to be, how much money they want to spend on the movie, considering they've done a lot in this franchise. But it's a great script. For those who have been on the edge of their seats throughout this blood-curdling journey, The Purge 6 is touted to be the climax we've all been waiting for. With a franchise that has raked in over $533 million worldwide across five nail-biting installments, the anticipation for this final entry is reaching a fever pitch. While the release date remains cloaked in mystery, the rumor mill suggests a spine-tingling late 2024 or early mid-2025 drop. Get ready to lock your doors, check your security systems, and brace yourself for the grand finale. The Purge is back, and it's about to go out with a bang. The world of Jurassic World is undergoing a cinematic shakeup. In a plot twist that could rival a T-Rex's roar, Universal Pictures and Deadpool 2 maestro David Leitch have decided to part ways, citing creative differences. But fear not, because stepping into the director's chair for the next installment of this dino-centric saga is none other than Gareth Edwards, the visionary behind Godzilla, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and The Creator. Edwards spilled the beans on his cinematic journey at Collider's FYC event for The Creator, where he shared the stage with industry giants like Colin Trevorrow, J.A. Bayona, and the legendary Steven Spielberg. Spielberg, the OG director of the original Jurassic Park, gets a nod of admiration from Edwards, who claims he's the reason he ever wanted to be a film director. Talk about a full circle moment! Despite Edwards initially planning a hiatus after his Oscar run for The Creator, the opportunity to helm the Jurassic World ship was too enticing to resist. The decision to bring Edwards on board was the product of a week-long tete-a-tete between the director and the bigwigs at Universal Pictures and Amblin Entertainment. Producers Steven Spielberg and Frank Marshall, stalwarts of the franchise, are reportedly thrilled with the new maestro in town. With Edwards at the helm, the next Jurassic World promises a fresh take on the Dinoverse, breaking away from familiar faces like Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, and Jeff Goldblum. Gear up, fellow dino enthusiasts, because Jurassic World 4 is slated to roar into theaters on July 2nd, 2025. With pre-production gearing up post-haste, the countdown to a dino-rific cinematic experience has officially begun. 2024 is shaping up to be a roller coaster of release date twists and turns. In a plot twist that has fans both excited and antsy, Lionsgate has hit the pause button on the highly anticipated John Wick Ballerina spinoff. Starring the dynamic duo Ana de Armas and Keanu Reeves, this action-packed thriller was set to grace our screens in June 2024, but alas, we'll have to keep our excitement in check until June 6, 2025. Why the delay, you ask? Well, it seems like Lionsgate and John Wick creator Chad Stahelski are cooking up something special. With Stahelski taking the reins and partnering with director Len Wiseman, brace yourselves for extra action sequences and a cinematic upgrade that's worth the wait. But that's not the only plot twist in this cinematic saga. Brace yourselves for a dose of disappointment, courtesy of Warner, as Bong Joon-ho's much-anticipated sci-fi flick Mickey 17, starring Robert Pattinson, is hitting the snooze button until January 31st, 2025. The wait might be painful, but if there's anything we've learned from Ho's genius, it's that good things come to those who wait. Fear not, for there's a silver lining in this cinematic cloud. Get ready for an earlier-than-expected thrill with the reboot of The Crow, featuring the hauntingly talented Bill Skarsgård. The release date has been pulled forward, so mark your calendars for June 7, 2024, and prepare for a dark and mesmerizing cinematic experience. The twists and turns of 2024's movie calendar are bound to keep us on the edge of our seats, and we wouldn't have it any other way. 
Hold on to your hoverboard, sci-fi enthusiasts. The directorial baton for Prime Video's much-anticipated Blade Runner 2099 has been passed in the relay of creativity. Jonathan Van Tulliken, fresh from his directorial and executive producer prowess on FX's Shogun, is set to steer the first two episodes of this high-octane limited series. Buckle up for a roller coaster ride through neon lit dystopia. In a plot twist worthy of a blockbuster screenplay, Tulliken steps into the shoes of Jeremy Padezwa, who gracefully bowed out due to the chaotic choreography of scheduling conflicts spurred by the WGA strike. Originally poised to kick off in Belfast last summer, Blade Runner 2099 had to hit pause due to the strike, triggering a delay that had fans eagerly awaiting updates. But fear not, cyberpunk aficionados, the Blade Runner sequel is back on track, relocating its production epicenter to the enchanting city of Prague, the Czech Republic. The move has tongues wagging, with whispers of the city becoming a sci-fi haven, luring in major streaming series like Apple TV Plus's Foundation. Just like the cast, it's hard to speculate about the story, which could go in any direction. As we count down to April, when the cameras start rolling, it's worth noting that Blade Runner 2099 is the brainchild of Alcon Entertainment and Scott Free Productions, with none other than Ridley Scott, the maestro behind the original 1982 Blade Runner, pulling the strings as executive producer. So get ready for a futuristic thrill ride, as Blade Runner 2099 promises to be the sequel we didn't know we needed. Mark Wahlberg is dropping some exciting updates about the highly anticipated sequel, Uncharted 2. The versatile actor, renowned for his role as Victor Sullivan in the 2022 blockbuster, recently shared an optimistic glimpse into the sequel's journey. In an exclusive revelation to Screen Rant, Wahlberg announced that the studio has greenlit the next chapter, and he's getting ready to step back into the shoes of the charming Sully. In a phone call that undoubtedly left fans buzzing with anticipation, Wahlberg revealed, I can't grow a real beard and mustache. But they said, start growing your mustache, it's gonna take a while. I'd be interested to see what the story's like and where that adventure takes us. But I'm excited. I know audiences really love the first one, so we'll see. While the studio is keeping its lips sealed on an official announcement, the breadcrumbs left by the post credit scene in the first Uncharted movie practically shouted sequel. With a treasure trove of content from the beloved video game series waiting to be explored, fans are eager to embark on another worldwide adventure, with Wahlberg reprising his role as the lovable Sully. The enthusiasm for Uncharted 2 is palpable, fueled by the success of the first movie that captured the essence of the video game series and resonated with a global audience. While the plot details and production timeline remain elusive, Wahlberg's playful directive to start growing your mustache hints that the gears are indeed turning for the next cinematic escapade in Nathan Drake's world. Get ready for another pulse-pounding expedition. Uncharted 2 is on the horizon, and the adventure is about to kick into high gear. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.